Hello guys, welcome back. In this video we will extend our books test and I want to show you how you can easily verify number of given elements. For example, after we click on the travel category, we want to check that only the expected number of results is displayed. So if we now look up here, we can see that when we click on travel, we can see 11 results which means there should be 11 books displayed. So let's write the test that will check it. So in this case, let's say we want to create one more test step and name it should display correct number of books. And again, we need to start with sci.get function. And let's now look and inspect it to see what we need to actually target. Well, let's click here and inspect. And you can see that we have an article of class product pod. So let's copy it. And remember, we are now targeting a class not a HTML element, so we need to use prefix of dot. If you were targeting ID, you would use the number sign. If you are working with classes, you always need to use dot. But if you are working with native HTML element, you can just leave it as h1. So now we have targeted the correct element. And here I want to target its attribute. So we're gonna call a new function called its. And here we want to target the length. So we want to get the number or length of this product or, or sorry, of this element. In this case, it's product pod. So this should return 11 times this result. And now last piece is again to check the value and we will use equal because we want to strictly check that there is 11, uh, 11 times this class rendered. In our case, it's basically 11 books rendered. So let me open the Cypress. and run the test. And as you can see, our test was successful because we expected 11 and it equals 11. And as you can see, you have 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. So our test is working correctly. Let me just quickly show you how does it look like when the assertion of the equal fails. So I'm just instead of 11, I'm gonna add 12, save it and run the test again. And in this case, as you can see that Cypress error timed out retrying expected 11 to equal 12. So let's just put it again to 11 to make sure that the test is still working and just finally check it. Just to make sure we don't have any typos or mistakes. And everything is working fine. So that's nice, we can stop it. Let me clear the terminal. And just a quick recap, if you want to just verify the number of any given element on the web, just use sci.get, target the specific element, then call its function and grab its length, and it should equal and then pass it number uh, which is correct, which should be actually equal. So I think that's it. If you want, you can practice this function on any other elements or some other website it's up to you but i think it's pretty straightforward how to do it so i think that's it and see you in the next video